The most striking difference between Bridge and other Adobe programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign is the user interface. It contains panels and panes used to edit metadata, change file names, reference document settings, etc., with the main workspace located in the middle of the screen. But instead of displaying one project for editing, Bridge opens a window into your computer showing you all the files that you have in preparation for Bridge-related activities and actions. And so you're not going to do any editing here, but it kind of it opens up this window that will let you see your, your computer. Uh, it shows you all the files on your computer and how you've saved and organized them. And it allows you to further save and organize them, to rename the files, and do uh, kind of housekeeping tasks like we said in the last video. Bridge can be launched just like any other Adobe application. If you're using Adobe Creative Cloud, you must first install it before launching, and we talked about that. You'll have to hit the little Creative Cloud icon, choose your apps, and then make sure it's installed. Once you open it, it should look similar to this, right? So this is just a screenshot of my computer at some random date and time. Uh, and you'll see that I have my applications folder, I have my desktop documents, downloads. If I went to my desktop, you'd see all those pictures and different things. The panes and the panels that surround it are what make it unique. It's not, the panes and panels are not used like a panel would be used in Photoshop. Photoshop panels are like the layers panel or the channels panel, and they let you see stuff that you would do um, that you would edit or change in your photo. Uh, the panes and panels that you see um, around the outside of your main air quote workspace because you're not actually working in the content panel there um, are things that are like keywords or creating metadata and different settings like that. When you want to edit a file from Bridge in another program, you can select it from the content window, and you'll notice that on this screenshot, the images are much larger than on this screenshot. It's just a display option. In the bottom right-hand corner, there's a slider. I slid the slider to make it bigger. Well, first I went into the desktop, uh, downloads. It's under my name, downloads, and then I'm in a folder that says wildlife examples. And I just slid the slider over at the bottom to make the window bigger. When I select an image, you can see that it highlights um, the image, and then all around it in those panes and panels will tell me facts about the picture. On the right-hand side, the metadata of the picture is telling me that the picture is 672 by 852 pixels. Uh, it's 4.13 megabytes. The f-stop and the ISO settings for a, a photograph are not uh, available because this is not a photograph. It's a document that I created in InDesign. Under File Properties, it tells me it's named flower6.pdf. It's a PDF document. You can see that it, I made it using Adobe InDesign CC 2015. I made the PDF, but a student designed it. So this is a student's project from a previous semester. You can see that it was created on October 21st, 2016 at 6.05 p.m. It was modified on December 18th, 2016. That's probably when I created the, the PDF. It tells me the file size again and the dimensions, which it also showed me up top. And there's a lot of different things that you can see. Now, because this is not a photograph, it doesn't have all the metadata that you might expect of something that was captured on a camera. In addition to showing you facts about your pictures, Bridge has the ability to preview and examine image thumbnails, to label, rate, and sort image thumbnails, to filter images, thumbnails, and organize them into collections. You can organize image thumbnails and collapse them into stacks. You can search for, move, copy, and assign keywords to files. And you can open files in Photoshop through Bridge. And so I want to show you how to do that, but I think it's better if I just demo it inside of Bridge. And so when you're ready, launch Bridge, and we will move forward with the next video.